Hello. The Embassy of the Republic of Slovenia in the United States has invited me to introduce the recent publication of the complete plays of Ivan Sanka in English translation, which appeared toward the end of 2021. For the first time ever, all seven of Tsanka's canonical plays are now available in English to interested readers and to professional or amateur theaters in the English-speaking world that may be interested in producing the plays of this newly discovered early modern playwright as part of their repertories. Let me introduce myself. My name is Michael Biggins, and I specialize in Slavic languages and literatures, including Slovenian, at the University of Washington in Seattle. Feel free to contact me at mbiggins at uw.edu if you have questions or comments. For most of the 20th century in North America, the repertory of world drama, in other words, of plays not originally written in English, largely boiled down to the plays written by these four men, whose portraits you may recognize. Henrik Ibsen, the great Norwegian playwright of the late 19th century, Russian playwright Anton Chekhov, with his four famous stage plays, The Seagull, Uncle Vanya, Three Sisters, and The Cherry Orchard, all written and premiered in the space of about seven years, the late 19th and early 20th centuries. German playwright Bertolt Brecht of Three Penny Opera and Mother Courage fame, and Swedish dramatist August Strindberg. To be sure, plays by many other non-Anglophone playwrights were produced in the course of the 20th century too. But in terms of the most widely produced, these four and a handful of others stand out. Fortuitously for them, they were discovered, translated into English, and widely performed very soon after they achieved their reputations in their home countries. Now, in the 21st century, Anglophone theaters are moving far beyond the previous century's limited scope, and we hope that the inclusion of Ivan Sankar's seven plays in theater repertories will be a part of this widening trend. This seven-volume edition came into being as the result of a collaboration between two theaters, the Prosheran Theater in Kran, Slovenia, and Crane Creations Theater in Mississauga, Ontario, just outside of Toronto. These two entities provided the initiative, framework, and wherewithal to assemble a team of translators, editors, graphic designers, and others required to take the project from conception to realization. Speaking of design, here's one of a number of striking graphics developed for the project, portraying Tsankar with his trademark handlebar mustache, reproduced in no less than seven copies, from his faintest version on the far left, suggestive of his first play, to his most developed realization at the far right in his seventh and final play. Here on the left is the complete set of seven plays published in a limited hardbound edition of 300 copies. But the plays are also available in both paperback and ebook editions. You'll see that when lined up in sequence, the spines of the hardbound edition form a portrait of Tsankar which interestingly resonates with the public artwork that you'll find just outside the Tsankar Arts Center, uh, a major theatrical venue in downtown Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. These are the seven plays in their English titles with the original uh, dates uh, when they were published or written and the dates they were first produced, performed in Slovenian. And these are the translators and teams of translators, uh, each of whom brought to this project long and extensive experience translating a wide range of works of Slovenian literature into English. And here they are again, from top to bottom, beginning at left, yours truly, Michael Biggins, Rolly Grau, in the center, the team of Alenka and Jason Blake, and at far right, Tina Makota and Tom Priestley. Here's a brief excerpt from one of the plays. All of the translators strove to achieve a fluent English diction that contemporary audiences can easily relate to, while also incorporating some not too obtrusive period stylistic touches that anchor the characters in the play's original setting in time, the early 20th century. Though written over a hundred years ago, the subjects of Tsankar's plays very much remain relevant to our present day, as in this scene 
from For the Good of the Nation, where a salaried journalist named Stuka is required to violate his sense of professional ethics by deferring to the commercial interests of Mr. Grost, the publishing magnate for whom he works. Stylistically, as well as thematically, during these years, Ivan Sankar was discovering and experimenting with some of the same innovative dramatic techniques that Anton Chekhov was writing into his own plays at precisely the same time. You can obtain paperback or Kindle ebook versions of the plays on Amazon.com. In the Amazon search box, just type in the keywords Ivan Tsankar Drama English. And all seven plays should appear prominently. We hope that you'll read and enjoy them, just as we hope that full fledged productions of the plays in English will be coming soon to a theater near you. Thank you for your attention.